Are you starting nursing school soon? If so, this video is for you. We'll cover tips for success in nursing school, things I wish I had known before I had gone to nursing school, what your must have items really are, do you need all the books, do you not need all the books, and some study tips to help you get through all the information that's gonna be thrown at you during the course of your program. If you're new here, welcome, I'm Liz. And once upon a time, I did go to nursing school. I'm a family nurse practitioner now, but I've been in the you know student role forever and I've worked with a ton of nursing students and it was only like eight years ago, so not really forever, that I was in your shoes preparing for nursing school. All right, enough about me. Let's get into the tips so that your mind can be a little bit more at ease as you go into this process. Also, side note, since we're gonna be covering a lot of different topics and this might be kind of a long video, I'm gonna put a timestamp in the comments down below. So if there's a specific topic you wanna hear about, you can just skip right to that one or you can watch the whole thing go you obviously that's the correct choice so we're gonna start off with the most common question I get which is how do I prepare for nursing school and my friends you are not going to like this answer because the answer to that question is just relax let me tell you something nursing school is kind of crazy and you want to know why it's crazy because they are teaching you everything you need to learn to be an entry-level nurse taking care of humans that are alive and you want to try to keep them alive. But that's a lot of things to learn. But they know that and the whole point of nursing school is to teach you all of that. You are not expected to go into this with any prior knowledge, trust me. When I started my nursing program, my medical knowledge was knowing that the fancy name Tylenol was also the same thing as acetaminophen and when I went to CVS, I could get acetaminophen for a lot cheaper than Tylenol and I just thought I was the bomb. So that was where I was coming from, guys. So don't even worry if you're like, I don't know anything, it's fine. That's literally what you are paying them all of your money to do is teach you everything you need to go. So don't worry about like cramming beforehand or anything like that, just, just show up with an open mind ready to learn. The best thing you honestly can do with your time now is prepare yourself for this next season of life that's gonna be a little bit challenging. Spend time with the people or hobbies that you love. Going into this process with a rested mind and body is going to be so much more beneficial for you than going in knowing all the names of every single part of the kidney, for example. There will be a time and a place where you need to learn all of that, but this is not that time. And never fear, if you're sitting there like, there's gotta be something I can do, because I feel you, my type A friends, I'm, I'm with you. If you're in classes right now, there are some things you can work on that would better prepare you for being a good student. If you're taking classes right now, figure out what strategies work best for you. Do you learn best by reading, listening, watching videos? Do you work better with flashcards, mnemonics? Figure out your study strategies now. That way you don't have to worry about that when you get to studying in nursing school and you can just get right into the material and focus on what you need to learn. A huge part of the challenge of nursing school is learning how to actually study best for the material presented to you because nursing school is a very different type of learning. You need to really understand the concepts rather than just memorize facts because they'll present you with questions and if you have taken any nursing questions, you know that they'll give you a question and all the answers are technically correct, but one is the most correct. So you really have to learn to study in a way that, that allows you to understand the material so that you can answer the most correct question. Ugh, I, I know, I feel your pain. And in addition to refining your studying techniques, you could also just work on setting up beneficial lifestyle habits. Work on meal prepping. Stop going to bed at 2 a.m. Start waking up a little bit earlier in the morning like you will when you have to go to class exercise here and there. Implement activities in your life that will then be a habit so you aren't trying to reform your entire life when you're in nursing school. Because in order to succeed in school, you really do kind of want to take care of your body as well as your mind. And setting all these habits up now will help you in the long run. But truly guys, I would just encourage you to spend this time getting your emotional and physical body in shape rested and ready to tackle this thing that is nursing school. You know how all over like Instagram and everything, there's that whole like, you can't pour from an empty cup quote. Well, that's because it's true. You need to fill your cup up right now with all the good stuff because your cup is only going to be filled with caffeine for like the next few years. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. You're gonna make it. Next, let's take some time to kind of debunk some myths about nursing school and give you an idea of what your program's kind of gonna look like because there's a lot floating around out there that is truly scary. Like, um, have you heard nursing school is the hardest thing in the world? There's a million different memes out there that show, you know, like the nursing profession is just being the most challenging, terrible thing in the world. And friends, 
it's gonna be okay. You will survive nursing school. It's gonna be fine. I feel like nursing school kinda gets this rap of being the hardest thing in the world and blah, 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 blah. I actually didn't go into nursing originally in my undergrad and had to do an accelerated program because I was so scared of what other people had said about it that I was like, I can't do that. Uh, no, no, no. And then I had to go back anyway later and do it and it was just a whole catastrophe. So don't let it scare you. I think some of the whole scariness around it is people, you know, when you're involved in it, you wanna make it sound like my struggle is justified. So they kind of talk it up a little bit. And that's kind of how the whole culture surrounding it has kind of gotten is like nursing school is the worst, most evil thing ever. But guys, let me level with you. Is it challenging? Yes. Is there a lot of information? Yes. Will you have to study more than your peers might have to study if they are in a different major? Yes, depending on what major they are. But is it the hardest thing ever? No. You can absolutely do it. It may take a little bit more time and effort than other majors, and it is by no means easy, but if you dedicate the necessary effort and time into it, you will be fine, I promise. Do not let the fear of nursing school stop you from going, and don't med like focus all your energy on, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so hard, because all that's gonna do is send your anxiety through the roof, and it's not productive. This is nothing that you cannot handle. Look at all the stuff you've already done in order to get here, you're gonna be totally fine. Okay, let's just take a brief overview, really quick look at what nursing school is kind of gonna look like for you. If we break it down really simple, there are two components of nursing school. There is the didactic, which is like the book course learning lecture work, and the clinical portion, where you are in your clinical setting working with other nurses, learning these skills in the areas you may one day work. I am going to make an entire video very soon on how to do well in clinical as a nursing student. So we won't dive into that too much today, but the basics of it are show up early, sit down as little as possible. This is not the time to socialize friends, no, no. And be as helpful as you possibly can. Nobody expects anything of you as a nursing student, so don't stress about that. Go out with an open mind, ready to learn. And anytime someone says, hey, do you wanna do this, see this? The answer is always yes. Yes, I do. Yes, let's go. And you're gonna see so much that way. And by being helpful, you'll be really approachable and other nurses will want to pull you into things because then you were helpful and they like you. The harder part I think here is the book work that you're gonna have to tackle. So let's take a minute talking about that and some tips on how to succeed there. There are some tough classes that you're gonna encounter. Patho, farm, you know, you've heard the stories about these. I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail in this video, but I do have several videos that I think would be really helpful for you to check out when you get a minute. I have one on how I study in general in nursing school, how to study in farm, how to study in patho, and how I used my tablet to take notes. I'm gonna link those down in the description below and I would really recommend you go check those out before you dive into this whole program because they go into a lot more detail than I can here. But again, I'll just summarize really quickly. You want to study smarter, not harder, right? And then like we talked about, there's gonna be a lot of information thrown at you. So study to the modules. Usually in nursing school, the teacher provides you with modules and each module has a learning objective. So hey, I want you to learn the signs and symptoms of kidney failure and what your patient might look like if they were experiencing that. So you go, you go through your lecture, you study that. If you have questions, you refer back to that. You ignore all the other stuff that's in the book because the book's going to have all these other filler information and topics that you don't need to know. So don't worry about it. If you don't need to know, don't go there. Use that module and the module objectives to direct your studying and your focus. Cause that's usually the most important stuff and that's what you're gonna be tested on. And don't forget to study based on your learning style. Guys, I don't learn anything from reading. And in my undergrad nursing class, I didn't read honestly like at all. I know they tell you to, but that's not how I learn. So if that's how you learn, perfect. But if it's not, most of the information I found in undergrad is provided to you in the lecture. Obviously, if you need to dive deeper, go read the book. But for the most part, I did not find that I had to find additional reading that was in the book in order to pass my class. And again, this is just my experience. Your school might be totally different. So if they're really pushing the book thing, by all means, go read the book. But for the most part, in undergrad, I didn't have to read too much. They provided most of the information for me on their PowerPoints and in in-class lectures. Totally different subject if you're doing a master's program, but we're not talking about that right now. All right, now what do you do when you do have a lecture on something and you've encountered a topic that you're just like, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> been there, friend. I cannot recommend enough Khan Academy on YouTube. It is free. You just type in Khan Academy and then the topic that you need to search for, and they have all these free, wonderful videos explaining things with pictures. 
it's great. Utilize your resources. YouTube is a fantastic resource. Remember how I was saying nail down your study strategy? Use those methods you in your study strategy to drill down into those topics that are a little bit rougher for you. And the biggest thing overall with managing your classwork is just planning ahead, which I know is a challenge. I am the world's biggest procrastinator, but you're gonna wanna try to plan ahead, see what you can do, when and start studying early because that's going to help you be the most successful and will help you forget less assignments and keep everything that you're juggling kind of organized. You need some organization to go into this. Okay, next. What type of supplies do you need for nursing school? I get asked this all the time. And friends, it's a lot less than you think you need. I think in this social media age, you know, everyone's always like, oh, you need all these weird gadgets. And it's like, those are cool. And they absolutely might supplement you but what you really need is not a whole lot. The only negative part or most of the things you actually need are like really expensive, which is like, uh, you're already a student and uh, I feel you. Okay. Number one thing you're gonna need is a stethoscope. I used a Littman Classic II throughout all of nursing school and my entire bedside nursing career. It's great. I love Littman stethoscopes. I purchased another one for my NP practice. So there you go. Super recommend it and all the products I talk about here, I will link in the description below. Second thing you're gonna need are scrubs. Your school will tell you whatever scrubs, either if they want a certain brand or if they want a certain color. Usually they make you get white, which is like, why, why would you make me get white? Like I'm gonna obviously spill on myself. This is stressful. I don't have time to wash my clothes very often and you want me to wear white? Like whoa, that is evil. But whatever your school wants, they will let you know your scrub number. I would get two sets. That way, you know, even if you just do laundry once on the weekends or you spill something terrible on yourself, you have one more pair to wear. Two should be fine. If you're like a hygienic person, you might want like three, I don't know. I had two, just two. And keep in mind when you're buying them that you wanna buy your scrubs a little bit larger maybe than you would think. You're gonna wanna squat, be able to move. You're also going to want to accommodate some of the cookies that you might be stress eating when you're studying at midnight. Not saying this from personal experience at all, but you're gonna to wanna to buy scrubs just a little bit bigger. You never know what's gonna happen here, okay? Just a little bit bigger. Shoes. Your school will probably specify this as well. A lot of schools require white leather shoes. I got mine from Shoes for Crews. It's a website, you can go on there. They're like all non-slip. In terms of nursing shoes in general, I wore dance goes in my nursing practice, which, but those are expensive. They're like 150 bucks. So, and they do have white. So if you can swing that, like, I mean, sure, they're really comfortable. I love them, but I didn't want to wear white shoes. I knew when I became a nurse. So I was like, I'm not going to plop down the money. I'm just going to get these, wear them during my somewhat, you know, limited clinical hours in the grand scheme of things. But dance goes are great if you can swing that. Shoes for Crews has more affordable, like $30 leather nursing shoes. Next, compression socks. I did not listen to the people who told me to buy compression socks when I was in nursing school, and that was the dumbest thing I've ever done. Compression socks for your long days where you're standing, whether you're in lab or in actual clinical, either way, they're helping the blood flow go back up. My feet hurt infinitely less, love them. Again, don't need a ton of pairs, but I would highly recommend them. I'll link them down below. You're also gonna wanna buy a planner. I liked the ones with the weekly views. Later I used a bullet journal. Whatever works for you, you're just gonna need a really durable planner. Don't get the ones that are all like, oh, recycled paper that looked cute. Been there, friend, done that, fell apart on like week three. I was like, <laughs> recyclable. Nope, those don't hold up very well. Get a durable planner. You are going to use whatever style you want. I always got the Mead ones, I think, from Target. They also have very fancy, pretty ones. You do you, friend, whatever you want. Just a planner that you will use and is easy enough to carry with you in a backpack or a bag. And then like a laptop and or a tablet. So truth time, when I was in nursing school, iPads were like the first generation of iPad had just come out and there was no, you didn't write on your iPads. So that was not a thing, but now it is. And like I said, I have a video on taking notes on my iPad. I use that to take notes in my nurse practitioner program and loved it, game changer. If you can swing an iPad, if you can ask for one for your birthday or a holiday, do it friend. Now they have the more affordable version. You don't have to get the iPad Pro. You can take notes on it, pull in charts. Highly recommend if you can do that. If not, obviously it's the end of the world. People have been taking notes on paper for eons. That's what I did. It was fine. But if you can swing a tablet to take notes on, that's a good life. I also had a laptop that I would do all my paper writing on, discussion boards, looking up all my papers, all of that. That's totally up to your preference. I think it made me, I think it makes life easier in school to have a laptop, but if you don't want one, I know you can get like the little keyboards for your iPad. 
all that good stuff. That's totally your preference, but you will need some kind of a computer or a tablet. All right, those are kind of the set things. There's also going to be a few other expenses that your school throws at you, and they will send you a list to say like, you know, these are all the things we want you to have for clinical. Like mine maybe get a blood pressure cuff and, you know, other random items I never ended up using, but it's fine. They'll send you that list. And there's a few other items I used in clinical that were cheap and easy, but I'll mention that again in that video, which is coming soon. And in addition to the supplies that your school sends to you that you will need, you'll also need your immunization records and you will need to be CPR certified. So some schools do that for you. Mine did not. I had to go out and find the class and buy, pay for it. And you also may need new immunizations. So you'll probably have to be up to date with your flu shot usually to enter any hospital in the area. And you will need your annual T test as well as any other immunizations you may have missed earlier in life your school can tell you that budget some money for that as well because some of the the CPR class can I think is like a hundred bucks and the your TB test is usually like cheap, like 25 or something, but still an expense to consider. Overall, I would budget a couple hundred dollars for all the supplies, records, all of that good stuff, and then a couple hundred each semester for books, which is a total bummer, and let's talk about that. All right, so one of the big debates here with like the nursing school textbooks is do I keep it, do I sell it, what do I do? And do I need the digital copy or is the paper okay? Where do I go from there? Let me tell you, the only books I have ever referenced again from my nursing program were my assessment books that taught me like how to do an assessment and my anatomy and physiology books. All the other ones I kept like med surge, peds and mother baby, all of that are sitting in a box somewhere in that garage and collecting dust and pretty much the only use that they will ever have is my daughter will one day find them and flip through them and laugh at the brutal treatments we used to put people through. That's about it. But you do you. If you're someone who loves to keep your books, perfect. Those are the ones that I personally kept. Anatomy and physiology and my health assessment books. Other than that, never really looked at them. You learn everything you really need to know in your future job, at your future job, and they usually have resources for you or it can kind of point you in the direction of like, this is more what we want you to have. And then there's Google. So there's that. But you keep whatever. And I would also ask your nursing professors if there's any books that will be reused in later semesters, like med surge, you're probably gonna use in med surge one and two. Most of the other ones you don't reuse, but I would ask that I ran into that problem a few times in grad school was I got the book and then I gave it, I like sold it again. And then two classes later, they were like, remember that book you bought and obviously still kept. And I was like, uh -huh. but it's fine. I never encountered that in my undergrad, so I don't think you will, but I would ask your professor just in case. And in terms of the physical book versus the digital, it's totally up to you. I would recommend getting the physical version of the ones you think you might want to keep forever. And for the ones that you know you're not gonna keep, I got whatever the cheapest version was. So if the digital rental was the cheapest, great. Usually for some reason, like physical rentals were still cheaper, but whatever is cheapest, my friend. All right, that covers books. And last but not least, let's talk really quick on time time and life management. I, not shocking, have a video that I did where I talked about how I balanced being like a mom, a wife, a student, and working. I'll link that down below as well. But I will tell you, I was able to work 30 to 40 hours a week while in an accelerated nursing program. I didn't have a lot of free time, but it is doable. If you have to work, you can totally do it. Even if you're not working, you're gonna learn, need to learn to have really good time management skills that so that you can still do enjoyable things in life with people you love. So plan ahead, know when your projects are due. You're gonna have to fight the inner procrastinator. I know this was something I truly struggled with because nursing school gives you a lot of things to juggle. So you need to be organized and plan ahead and very proactive in your studying to succeed. Also, another tip I would give you would be to do your work before you relax. It's tempting when you get home from a long day at school to sit down, watch Netflix, scroll on Instagram. But if you sit down and get your homework done, then your relaxing time later, you're going to actually be able to relax and unwind without anything hanging over your head, which is going to do wonders for your academic performance because you're a rested, balanced human. All right, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Don't be scared, guys. You can absolutely do this. It's Nursing school is challenging. It's also very rewarding. You're learning so much information and you're gonna meet some of the most wonderful friends you will ever have. And one day at a time, people. One day at a time, you got this. Thanks so much for watching today. Again, if you're new here, I'm Liz. 
I'm a family nurse practitioner, but I do nursing and NP related content videos on Tuesdays. And I have a vlog on Saturdays where I just document my, kind of show you what my life looks like as an NP, a new mom, you know, all that good stuff. So if you're into that, consider subscribing below. I'd love to have you in my YouTube family and head over to Instagram where I post tidbits throughout the week or like nursing and NP tips. We always have a question of the day. And today's question is, are you thinking about going to nursing school? Are you already in nursing school? Shoot me a message down below and let me know yes when you're starting, all that good stuff. I'd love to hear from you. I went to nursing school. It was an accelerated program at the University of Delaware, go Blue Hens. I met some truly wonderful people. I learned so much, great experience. So at the time, I probably would not have said those things, but looking back, you learn so much and about yourself and obviously the world of healthcare when you're in nursing school and i hope you grow to love the profession as much as i did don't forget to check out those other videos down below i think they'll be pretty helpful for you all right hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day and i will see you next time bye